получаете сообщение, что калибровка БЕЛУ завершена. Инструкцию. Инструкцию вы получите, если у вас будет набран режим 0.0 на ПРВИ. Если другой режим пока набран, инструкции не будет. Как только наберете 0.0, дадите This footage showing the first few feet of the journey home for Expedition 16 Commander Peggy Whitson and Expedition 16 Flight Engineer Yuri Malenchenko, as well as uh, space flight participant uh, So Yun Li, So Yun Yi, uh, Yi uh, launched to the station with the Expedition 17 crew on April 8. While the Expedition 16 crew members with her spent uh, a total of 190 days aboard the International Space Station. And Peggy can go ahead and uh, start the transit part. Copy that. Execute transit. Then you copy the time on page 9-2. We're... Go to the BNO display. Where we're going to have the BNO calculation. After the BNO calculation is done, we're going to have the information displayed. We're going to compare the, to the information in the radiogram on, in the ODF. It's going to be recorded there. And on the AUS display, you're going to confirm at the KS time and ARU. And here we're seeing a view of the Soyuz separation from uh, cameras on the outside of the International Space Station. On page 9-3, on go uh, from mission control, so you don't have to go from mission control yet, so you're going to reset the picture, but the calibration results, page Page 9.3, uh, record the BILU display data, you're going to record that. You're going to downlink to the ground on uh, go from mission control. This table, the table with the loops 1 and 6. Another recorded view of the departure of the Soyuz TMA-11 with uh, Expedition 16 Commander Peggy Whitson and uh, Yuri Malinchenko, the Expedition 16 uh, Flight Engineer, the Soyuz Commander, along with uh, Soyuz Yi, the space flight participant on board. Unfortunately, the thruster is going to be activated um, almost still in during the eclipse. So you won't be able to monitor that. You're going to only see one window after you emerge from eclipse. Uh, you need to use um, the Capen in order to monitor attitude copy. ECAV inhibit, if you didn't get the time, and then you're going to get it later, about 15, one, five minutes prior to the thruster activation. But uh, that'll be five or six minutes after the Gaia saw appears. Copy. Then page 9-4. To prepare for thruster activation, a monitor um, the KD rotation. During the eclipse, monitor attitude using the ICAT. As we continue to watch this recorded footage of the Soyuz TMA-11 departure from the International Space Station, the uh, spacecraft uh, 
at present has moved to a distance of about two and a half miles from the orbiting laboratory. A pressure at nozzles, a pressure in the tanks. You will also have information available because uh, Jirachi, that will be at your work uh, location. Yuri, you will also have the information about the current value of the burn, what is calculated by IS0 to 0 and the acceleration. And it will also uh, be displaying the 115.2 burn magnitude that is uh, on on the display, you need to first enter display 4.6 in order to monitor the... As we continue to watch the departure of uh, the Soyuz uh, TMA-11 spacecraft, uh, we have uh, on the phone Rob Navius, the public affairs officer, who's with the recovery team. Uh, he's uh, landed just a short time ago in Arkovic, uh, not far from the landing site of the Soyuz spacecraft. His report coming up momentarily. Copy. Do you understand everything? John Ira, thanks, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, the Ross Aeronavigatsi search and recovery team has, in fact, uh, landed uh, with a dozen MIA helicopters here in Arkhalik, Kazakhstan. After a one-hour, 50-minute flight uh, from Kustanai, where we staged this morning and have spent the last couple of days uh, making preparations and receiving briefings, it is a cloudless day. Uh, very light winds, almost ideal conditions for the return of Peggy Whitson, Yuri Malenchenko, and So Yun Yi. Uh, the helicopters uh, will spend the next uh, hour and 45 minutes or so on the ground, and then about 20 minutes before landing, in sequence, we'll take off one by one, headed for the landing site, about a 20-minute flight from Arkalik to the uh, remote step where the Soyuz TMA-11 is targeted for its touchdown at uh, 3.30 a.m. Central Time, which will be 2.30 p.m. here in Kazakhstan. Again, a cloudless sky, mild temperatures to greet the trio from Soyuz TMA-11 and to bring to an end Expedition 16. John Ira?